Good morning. Hope everyone is having a good, what is it, Tuesday? Tuesday? Yeah. It's just mirrors the music a little loud. better in my ears now. <laughs> Tricky and I went to the rodeo last night and he won me a squishmallow because he's the best. I'll let you guys see it. How cute, right? Old dino squishmallow. <laughs> Rodeo was good. I mean, we've been like four times now, so I'm a little over it. <laughs> I'm like, I think four is enough. I think four, four might be good. <laughs> oh, captions. What do you do? Come here. There. That should work now. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a little over the rodeo. <laughs> but I'm super happy about my new stuffed animal. I'm gonna try medieval times next. I've never been to that. I mean, we go to the Ren Fair and stuff, but I've never been to the actual medieval times. That's in Dallas, right? If I remember correctly. We don't go to Dallas often. A little far for a weekend trip. <sighs> I was really cold and now I'm really hot. I don't know. I don't know what's happening today. I'm very tired. I know it's only an hour, but the, the clock change has really, really done me a number. I thought they might have one in Houston. I don't think they do. I have to, I have to look. I feel like if they had one, we'd be, we would have been. Hi, Emsley. How's it going? Good morning. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if they have one in Houston. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. My morning allergies. <laughs> well, look who it is. How am I today? I'm a little sneezy and a little tired, but I feel like that's pretty normal. How about yourself? Nipple. Um, Art-wise, I really enjoyed doing the honeycomb, so I kind of want to do another one, but like in a different color, so I can play around with the watercolor pencil some more. How's the music to me level? I turned the music up a little more, and I think maybe it might be too loud. Let me know. I feel you. Working from home. I get to come to your stream. Oh, thank you so much. Sounds good to you, Pork. Okay, good. <laughs> Super relaxing. I'm glad you get a work from home day. Those are the best days. I love a work from home day. Well, let me go take care of my nose for a hot second. So I'm not sniffling the entire stream. to the honeycomb so like I said I want to do this but I want to do different colors like blue and red and something else because I really I really liked it it was nice and relaxing my nose has not been abused so I kind of want to try reds today curious to see how that will go I really like that one plan for drawing today Drawing today is going to be another one of these in a different color. That's the plan. So hopefully, hopefully it goes well. It's really bright outside today, so it's a little shadow bits going. The <laughs> more honey, the merrier. <laughs> well, thank you. Hopefully we can make some fun colored honey today. Hopefully. We'll see. Let's see. Let's try to test out some of these colors. Well, 
I'm thinking I kind of wanted to try the reds, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's we'll see what colors I have in here. This one's kind of pink, actually. Yeah, I think that's too pink. But do I only have like two reds? I have a lot of blues. Maybe we'll do blue? Oh, the red and orange isn't too bad, I suppose. I've never seen an extension like that. Time has gotten ahead of me. Which is to, which extension? The Xeno? <laughs> Let's see what these look like. Well, that's really orange. Let's see. What do you look like? Oh, you're very bright. Hmm. The one talking in chat, the panda? Yeah, that's the, the little Xeno guy in the corner. Oh, that back corner? <laughs> back in a sec, gotta check audio and video, I'll be right back. Greetings everyone! Thanks for popping in, guys. I mean, I do like the orangey red, but let's... I'll think about it while I draw out the honeycomb. Oh, I know it's this morning. I feel like it's every morning, but you know. That's the life of a person with allergies. Oof. Okay, so I think I started about here. What's everyone up to this Tuesday? Anyone doing anything fun besides working? <laughs> Sniffles. Oh. The choice of snow still being here. No allergies yet. Yeah, no snow here, unfortunately. Or fortunately, who knows. I do miss the snow sometimes, but... I don't miss being cold constantly. I just get to be hot constantly now. <laughs> The trade off. <laughs> Maybe like there. Ah, oh, sniffles. My oak tree is still just throwing pollen everywhere. I'm thinking tomorrow will be a good day to go out there and try and sweep up some more of it. I think I'll put a mask on, though. <laughs> I do like snow, but I don't like the snow shoveling part that much. It's been snowing a lot here. At the moment, it's raining super hard and thundering. Ooh, we got a thunderstorm? We get those here. For sure. Mm. I'm gonna blow my nose again. Oh my gosh, you guys. Should just end up moving the tissue box closer. Oh no, so why are you being like this? I think the first time I was in a, like a real bad thunderstorm was when I moved here. Houston definitely gets some good thunderstorms. They used to wake me up at night just because I wasn't used to it, you know? Pretty used to it now, but still, Tricky really likes them, my boyfriend, but I I don't, I'm not at the point where I'm like, oh yeah, thunderstorm. I'm still a little apprehensive, right? I hate them, super scary. We got a lot of rain in England. Yeah, the weather I'm used to from where I'm from is more like England. It's like the same I call that latitude. I'm more used to like gray cloudy skies and lots of just constant light drizzle. <laughs> Get a bit of everything. Yay, twinning. <laughs> yeah, so it was definitely a, a different thing to move here and be like, why is the sky so bad? <laughs>
far so good. Getting our shape. So do you often get to work from home, Ainsley? Or is it like a just every once in a while kind of thing? Two times a week. You really like being in the office. That's like you and Tricky. Tricky also likes being in the office. He's very social that way. I was one of those work from home people that would have been happy, happy if I never had to set foot in an office again. <laughs> Everyone is super fun and nice, so it's a good environment. Oh, that's good, at least. I thought I tend to drink a lot of coffee and eat too many... Oh, oh although, though I tend to drink a lot of coffee and eat too many office snacks. <laughs> Your office provides snacks? Man, offices in England must be nice. Sorry, though. Yeah, I, I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I never think I've ever had an office that just, like, provided food. I had one that had, like, a basket where you could pay for food. But the others, not so much. Although most of them have had coffee, but it's usually been pretty bad coffee. <laughs> Some are bad, yeah. Tricky was so funny. Yesterday, he sent me a link. He's like, look, babe, NASA's hiring. We're not too far from NASA. I'm like, what What do you think I could possibly do at NASA, darling? He's like, I don't know. Here's, here's the link. Just apply for it. So I applied to a random position at NASA doing something I've never done before. He's like, wouldn't that be so cool? I'm like, you are crazy. <laughs> I'm like, sure, I'll, 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 throw, I'll throw my resume at NASA. <laughs> Space Angel, right? I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, no, it'd be so cool. I'm like, all right, <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'm not, I'm not holding my breath on that one. We sell food, so we have some lunches we have for free, and we also have protein snacks. Oh, so if there's something you can help yourselves, that'd be cool. You've been accepted for the next moon program. It definitely was not that kind of job. <laughs> It's that I don't want to. Am I the only person? I don't want to go in space. No, I don't really want to. I don't like airplane rides. I would imagine a rocket ride would be much worse. <laughs> Streaming from Mars, right? If they could teleport me there, I'd be down. But if they gotta fly me there, hard pass. <laughs> Any space movie I've seen, I'm too scared, right? The visit you applied for has been filled. We're sending you to Mars instead. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, in case they you know they need artists for Mars. It's a highly soft, sought after position. Qualifications, tracing things and drawing honeycomb. <laughs> Mars dust. <laughs> That's funny. Well, if they need illustrations for Mars, I'm totally down. But they're gonna have to put me to sleep or something. I need, like, some good knock me out kind of stuff.
I had an interview with a, a recruiting company yesterday. She was interested in me for a position. She wanted to just like, you know, to, like learn more about me and my qualifications and stuff. And she starts talking. And the job's a collection position, and I'm not someone who should ever work in collections. I have no carrot. I am all stick. <laughs> so, like, usually collections people have to be, like, very customer service, like, still friendly. And I'm like, your performance reviews rely on if you can get people to pay their bills and not ruin relationships with clients. So in the middle of her telling me about this job and how she thinks I'm such a great fit, I'm like... I'm not doing that job. I'm sorry, I I do not have the disposition to do the position that you had me in mind for. <laughs> if you have anything else in my area, that would be lovely. She's like, oh. And so I told her what I was looking for. She said she'd keep me in mind, but I was like, I'm sorry, lady. I cannot do that. Is, that is not me. <laughs> Oh dear, right? I'm in that position I can be a little picky, so I'm gonna be a little picky. <laughs> I don't I've had a super stressful job. I don't I don't want that level of stress back in my life. <laughs> you ever had a like a job and you're just like, I am not the right fit for this. It happens. Sometimes it's just not meant to be. My last job was awful. Maybe you cry like every day. You need to do something you'll enjoy and thrive in, right? Like I've had jobs where it's been just fine. Like it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's it's fine. You know, it's a little stressful here and there, but nothing like crazy. And then yeah, the last two jobs I've had, especially the most recent one was just bad. So, unfortunately, Texas has not been nice to me job-wise. <laughs> so, I'm trying to be picky. But unfortunately, the competition is fierce. <laughs> there. Would you like to do so? What I've done in the past is um, accounts receivable and payable. That's so like sending bills and stuff like that, making invoices, and doing like general ledger reconciling and such. And I have a background in banking. So any of those things would be fine. And a lot of, a lot of those positions are easily remote as well, which is nice. But because you don't have to have like a specific education to do it, you just need some experience. The pay range is kind of all over the place. They can kind of charge what they want to. And competition is fierce. <laughs> you just have to have like good attention to detail and be okay with somewhat monotonous things. Which is fine by me. What was that? Something happened, but it won't tell me what it happened. I got a sub! Oh, thanks you! Thank you, Ainsley! I saw the alert, but it didn't have a name. <laughs> I appreciate that. Getting in there with that prime gaming. <laughs> well, there you go. Better Tuesday already. My allergy is already calming down. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite thing probs a weird emote to use but just got it <laughs> it is a good one it is a good pork emote <laughs> and now you have access to my emotes <laughs> which are much more chill I must say <laughs>
Hi. <laughs> so what kind of work do you do, Amesley? And do you like it? <laughs> the wings! Angel's aim are so much more precious. <laughs> I really, I kind of want to redo them now that I know how to use my tablet a little better. I am in social media an influencer. Summer resubscribed for three months. Oh my gosh, Summer. Thank you. I was on roll this morning. Oh my gosh. You guys. <laughs> What an entrance. <laughs> My goodness. Thank you, Summer. There, Aimsley said, <laughs> Borg Miner up for it. <laughs> I create video content, upload it to all socials, and look after our influencer database. Super fun. Oh, cool. That sounds like more technologically advanced than I know how to do. <laughs> for sure. You guys, you're spoiling me this morning. <laughs> First Tricky wins me a prize at the rodeo last night. Now we're just getting some subs this morning. It's crazy. It's all gonna go to my head. Watch out. <laughs> Alright, I think we've got the base like stuff going. <laughs> nah, you don't think so? I think so. <laughs> that sounds complicated. are looking much crisper. How's the... Yeah, still looking pretty good. I moved the camera again, unfortunately. I had to kind of change the focus, so I hope it's still good. It's fun, though. Hey, you found a job you enjoy doing. That's wonderful. That's more than most people can hope for. And you even get to work from home sometimes? Psh. Amesley over here living the dream. <laughs> so my work from home is the best. Means I can stream too, so it's helpful. Exactly, right? Right? What level is our Xeno at? 20? I think 10 more levels on Xeno and we get a new color. That's exciting. Maybe we'll get there in a couple weeks. Have a new goal. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. So, what colors did we decide? Let's look at some colors. <laughs> So watch out, Summer. Amesley is one of those extroverts that likes to go to the office, too, though. <laughs> Put this back in here. Alrighty, so orange wasn't too bad. Like orange and reds. I don't have a lot of reds in here, though. And so then we also have, like, blues. Which I thought might be fun. I'm a bit of both, because sometimes you people. <laughs> I've done I've done pretty well. Last night when um we went to a went to the rodeo because there was a wine party for his like his committee he's on. 
and he likes to mingle and walk around, so he, he stuck me with a group of people, and um, I made some, some little temporary friends. It was pretty nice. They were my parents' age, but they were very nice. If possible, I would avoid all people at work, right? That's me most days. Let's see what colors we have on here. I bet. These two are nice. I kind of like these two. What else? These are kind of purple. Yeah, that's too purple for what I want. Um, maybe like a teal? Oh, you guys can't see this part very well. I was trying to figure out what colors I want to do. I think I used three when I come serious. I'm kind of thinking that. I really enjoyed... I really enjoyed this one. I, I really liked how it turned out, like the subtle details. You can't see too much, but... So I thought it would be fun to do it in, like, different colors or something, you know? Alright, let me see what those three look like together. So yeah, maybe honey, maybe honeycomb series. This gives me an excuse to play around with the watercolor pencils more. Oh, actually, that's really pretty together. It's like mermaid-esque. Can you guys see it? The, the mermaid-esque colors? And it was nice and crisp, right? I really, I really liked it. I was, I was very pleased. You see all, like the little swirls in it? I was happy. I kind of like these little like weird mermaid colors. I think we're going to do mermaid honeycomb today. <laughs> Is that weird? I don't know. Do we need, do we need one more? We need another color? Is that enough? Maybe the dark one? Yeah, maybe we need a dark color in there. So maybe we'll do... We'll vote you out. We'll do this. This guy. And then the green one. I think that'll be a nice combo. Let's see. Let's see what you look like. I was thinking red today, but the, these blues are just kind of calling to me. Like, how nice is that? Let's see. That's such a pretty color. Yeah, I like that. Been decided. Right? I like that one. I just get a little hot. Peter starts to warm up the room, you know? Mm. I think I might need some more tea before I get started on that. Before I start shaking the camera for real with all my ferocious coloring. And that's the only downside to the watercolor pencils. <laughs> okay, so... Dark first, I guess. Yeah. And this guy and then this guy. Oh, I gotta figure out what color to use to line this too. Oh, maybe that dark gray blue would work. The shaky cam is part of the experience. Summer is here for drying time and shaky cams. Hundred <laughs> percent. Dark blue for sure, right? That'll look good. You guys are gonna have to think of the, the next color I do, because I wanna do another one of these. We're gonna have the yellow, like classic, and then we're gonna have this like blue teal thing. And then what what other color should I do? Give me some ideas. What do you what do you think? Pink one. Ainsley would suggest that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I think you're a little biased. <laughs> do I have? I think I have pinks though. Like that's a pink. Let's see, do I have pinks? They're so light though. I wonder what they. It might have to be like pink purple kind of, because I don't I don't have like too many different pinks. 
Um, I do have this one. So how would that work? Maybe like in the middle? Let's test it out, shall we? Let's see what we could make. I'm curious to see if we could do that. Mm, it's just so light. But the light pink could be the lightest one. I, think I would definitely need to get like a, like a purple on the back end of that. Sorry, you guys can't see. It doesn't exactly show up correct on the camera, but... Purple. I could try to do a pink purple. I have to experiment a little more. Let's see. I do have limited color pencils, but there's a few in here. Unfortunately, there's like a lot of brown. <laughs> I don't want to do a brown one. That's so sad. I'd be down for doing just like a green one though, like a mossy green one. Could be fun too. I can try like a pink purple one. I did purple flowers before. They were like bluish purple. Turned out okay. Chocolate honeycomb. I guess if you put it that way, that would not be that bad. <laughs> I just don't want it to end up looking like poop or something. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> would definitely have to be the right colors of brown. <laughs> Turn it into something. I should learn to use colored pencils again. Some people just do such nice things with them. I do have some Bristol paper. I guess if I was going to do that, I would really need to find my Prisma colored pencils. I know they exist in a box somewhere. I would just really need to find them. spend some time looking for them, if I remember. What's my favorite thing to draw? Ooh, draw or paint, though, because I feel like those are slightly different things, and I've been doing a lot of painting lately. Um, I really like, like, floral kind of things. Uh, I really like doing the space scenes, like the little galaxy things and stuff. Those have been fun with the watercolors. It, worked, it lends itself, I think, pretty well to watercolor. I mean, not that I've tried it with a different type of paint, but those seem to go nicely. Which I think what I've painted a lot of. Those and... But I've done a lot of moons. I painted a lot of moons, actually. But I really liked the oatmeal lid medallion stuff I did. That was really fun. Because it was kind of... The bunnies, the bunnies were cute. Some of the bunnies were cute. <laughs> but I really liked the medallion things because I could kind of just do what I wanted. There was no like set, like it has to look like this, you know? You loved the bunny series? I'm so sad because those bunnies did not scan into the computer well because they're so light. I need a better scanner or like a better, a better phone to take their pictures, you know? Because I enjoyed doing them, but 
Like, I can't do anything with it just because I can't get it into the computer in a, a usable way, you know? So those were fun. I don't know. I really don't like doing industrial things. Like, anything that's, like, a cityscape or something, that's, that's not me. I don't like it. So I guess just organic kind of things? I think this is like as structured as I get. <laughs> like patterns, I guess. <laughs> and I'd really, I'd love to get better at um, like shading and stuff. I'm not great at that. I'm more of a, I have to see it to be able to draw it kind of person. And when people just shade things out of their head, I'm like, how do you, how do you do that? <laughs> Like, I can't see it in my head like that. But I'm always very impressed by that. Oh, and then people that can uh, paint or draw, like, spooky stuff? Very impressed. Like, all the HR, was it Geiger or Giger? Very cool. I wish I could draw. I mean, it just takes practice. I will admit, like, some people it comes more naturally than others, you know? But you can always find a style that you can at least do something in, I think. You know? Maybe if you can't, it's just because you haven't found the style that's for you. What was that? <gasps> Vex, hey! You've always been about curves and softer lines and organic shapes. Shark angles and artificial forms have never been your style. Exactly. So you take us from someone who's known me for... Longer than I'd like to admit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but nice to see you. How's it going? <laughs> this one got a little, like, squished. I don't know what happened there. I guess it's because my template is not exactly perfect. <laughs> also, Amesley, you could totally draw. Oh, gotta hop in a meeting. Be back. We'll lurk. Thanks for lurking, Amesley. Good luck at the meeting. <laughs> Long enough to make us feel old. <laughs> My sis had to do a painting for school where she did a desert scene from Egypt and used yellow... Oh, I can never say that word. Ochre? For the sand and the camels and the pyramids. Basically, everything was a yellow. That's a lot of yellow. <laughs> did it look really cool, though? We're doing another beehive today, Vex, and we're gonna use these little like blue teal mermaid colors instead. Decided it'd be fun to do the same like shape but in just different color, you know? Mix it up. <laughs> Alright, everyone, get ready for camera shaking. Also, Vex, I changed my camera setup a little bit since you've been in, so it should be a little clearer now. Let me know if it's still a little fuzzy and I can play with the focus. A shaky cam gives an IMAX experience. <laughs> it's like you're really there. Just because it's attached. You know? Oh, 
Oh, I should have done a practice one. <laughs> oh no! Too late, we've already started! I would have known, like, how much I need to press in all the spots. Oops! I guess this is the practice one. No time like the present. <laughs> 45 minutes in. I guess this is good. <laughs> Let's see. So the other one I did like on the edges. Okay. I need I need a quick practice one. Hang on. Just gonna do a triangle to, to practice. Okay. So I did this in the middle. So I can now do. A lot of this in the middle, and I can do a little green outside. Let's see what that looks like. Or I can do it the opposite way. Okay, or I can go the other way. Is there actually a difference? Let's see. Test it out. There's really not much of a difference, I guess. Speaking of IMAX, sorry for the subject shift. Who's excited for Honor Among Thieves? What's that one? I just saw Avatar not too long ago. It was really good. We saw it in 3D. I'm a thief. Oh, the D&D movie. Yes, that'll be really fun. I feel like I haven't seen Chris Pine in anything in a little, a little while. He must be busy with life. Maybe I'm just not watching the right movies. That'll be really fun, though. The trailers look good. And it's a cool way to use an existing, like, um, world, but make your own story, you know? Because, like, every D&D campaign is its own thing, you know? I can get lost in Chris Pine's eyes. <laughs> Were you a fan of him in the Star Trek movies, then? Mine of us. Pesky kitty. Where's mine is far too good looking for his own good. I don't think he's that cute. Maybe I'll have a look again. I mean, I'm not like mad about him or anything. He's fine. He just looks too too generic to me. He doesn't have anything like outstanding that catches my eye. Which is like Captain America is just too generic looking for me. I need a little something unique in my men. The early reviews I've started seeing have all been really encouraging. Okay, I like his sense of humor. Oh, okay, there you go. See, that could change my mind, if he's funny. Uh-oh, what are you doing, Fox? <laughs> the gathering of cats on the bed in front of me. I really want to see the 65 movie with Adam Driver. Hey, Zara. Treating that Zeno. I think I read it before I heard it. <laughs> but I really like Adam Driver. I think he's very attractive. Kitties. <laughs> How's everyone? There it finally goes. <laughs> oh. 
How's your Tuesday, Zara? We are doing another honeycomb, but we are doing it <laughs> in a like a blue and teal kind of thing. Scales. Like, yeah, kind of. It'll, it'll end up looking kind of like that, I think. Well, like, honeycomb shaped. I don't know. Unique. Alright, so the big sweater I have is too much sweater, but no sweater is not enough sweater. Pardon me. <laughs> Do the closet. with lighter sweater. Hopefully this solves my temperature problems. <laughs> Been sewing so much. I feel like a hamster on a wheel. Oh yeah, is it for the bridesmaids dresses? I do too. Dinos apparently give classic Jurassic Park a run for the money scientific inaccuracy. <laughs> but I do very much want to see 65. I read an article recently that said it's like a good like spiritual successor to the original alien because of the way they do like the suspense and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that makes me really want to see it now. So I'm very excited. <laughs> That's exciting, right? I'm excited about it. <laughs> Grisha, one of my ladies says she's six weeks pregnant. The wedding is April 22nd. Will the dress fit? I mean, she's gonna get bigger. Oh no. What, like, is there a way to make it like an empire waist or something? Or, or like, corset back so she can like let it out? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's definitely gonna get bigger. In a month? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's, ooh. Good thing you'll be there on site, but like, leave yourself some extra fabric or something. <laughs> yeah, there's gotta be a way around that, right? <laughs> Summer laughs. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to like do something so it's not tight on her stomach area or be able to adjust it or something. You don't think it would be a problem? Okay. Maybe she does it early enough? It's not not big enough yet. <laughs> well, I don't know. I have a friend that's currently pregnant, and she's like, I ate three breakfasts yesterday. <laughs> I was like, I gained so much more weight this pregnancy than the last one. My body's like, I know what to do with this. Bring it in. <laughs> the dress is basically made. I left wide seam margins. People gain and lose weight all the time, but... Well, fingers crossed then. I, I hope it works out. At least you left yourself some room. Here in my shirt. What's happening here? I feel like these watercolor pencils always look so rough until you start putting water on them. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> pleasant surprise.
we got invited to go to dinner with some of the rodeo people we were hanging out with last night. And one of the guys was like, is it fancy? And she's like, it's just moderate. It's not too fancy. And she showed us the menu and everything in the menu was at least $50. And I'm like, too rich for my blood. <laughs> but we passed on dinner. <laughs> okay, here's my usual, usual accessory, right? I find it everywhere. I was like, man, I don't know what you people do, but that's not our normal dinner. <laughs> dinner out. <laughs> I appreciate the invite, but we will have to pass. <laughs> I will stick to my fair food. <laughs> I'm hungry. Me too, Pando. I was hungry last night too. But I ate a ton of free food at the charcuterie station they had set up for the wine party. That was great. I had so many strawberries. <laughs> I didn't think you were in Dallas. No, I'm in Houston. Houston has a rodeo. It's in March every year, and it is the biggest deal ever to everyone here. But it's a huge scholarship thing, apparently, so that's kind of cool. I'm not a huge fan of rodeo-specific things, like, um, like the bulls and stuff like that. I just feel bad for the animals. But I do like the mutton busting. It's pretty funny. They stick, like, a four-year-old on top of a sheep and let it run. But the kid's got a helmet on. The kid holds on and then flops off. And the one who holds on the longest gets, like, a prize or something like that. It's really funny. Usually they're like in tears. They're fine, but they're just like, ah, I fell off the shape. You know? <laughs> it's really funny. Rodeos are great. Went to the Calgary Stampede once. Ooh, that sounds exciting. There's uh, the bucking horses that they do. Um, the Broncos. And they actually had a bunch of the moms that had just had babies in like a little corral outside. You can go and see them. And man, those things are obviously bred to buck because even the babies are like bucking around, running around in there. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> the guy that was there just, you know, supervising the area was telling us about him. He's like, yeah, these things go for like six figures at least. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so much for a horse. <laughs> I like the music, the food, the booking Broncos. <laughs> yeah, the food's really fun. And then what else they have? They have like specialty drinks and stuff. Oh, and when the horse wins, right? Yeah, yeah. I like it when the animals win. <laughs> I know one of my cousins on dad's side had her wedding in Dallas. Oh, it's a very hoity-toity of Dallas and there's some very expensive dinners, right? It's a very food-oriented area, even Houston too. A lot of good food here compared to up north, I feel like. Maybe just like a lot more variety of like types of food too. Like any any kind of food you want, it's probably within 30 minutes of where you are. Yeah, rodeo's been fun, but I'm definitely ready for Ben Fair. For sure. A different kind of crazy. <laughs> I was thinking of wearing my ears today, but I wore my contacts last night and my eyes are a little unhappy with me. I'm getting a break. I'm hoping I get an email soon that says, Your new glasses have shipped! <laughs> But my birthday month is next month, and I'm very excited. We're going to the beach at the end of April. And then one of Tricky and I's, well, mostly his friend, but I enjoy her too, is coming to visit us for a different weekend. Should be a good time. 
I think I'm gonna see if he can barbecue for me for my birthday. Alright, I think it's time to sharpen this. It was ridiculous. My uncle paid for the wedding, you know, father of the bride and all that, but he probably dropped like 200000 that weekend. Oh my god. Well, I mean, that side of your family has some money, thankfully, to cover such things, but that's so expensive. I'm too frugal for that. Like, even if I had the money to do that, like, I'm not paying for that many people that eat fancy food. Psh, I'd rather save it for the honeymoon. I just skipped a heartbeat, right? Get a house for that, a couple heartbeats, exactly, right? Like, I know your uncles are better off than your father, but Jesus. <laughs> That's crazy. That's too much. <laughs> Just silly. <laughs> Rich, sorry, Tricky, now you know his name. Um, has worked a couple weddings like that before, and he's like, man, these people just have so much money. He set up um, lights and stuff for, like, the dances and things. It's crazy. It would be fun to, like, go to a wedding like that one, but... Ooh, yeah, it was a thing. Hey, when you marry, who really cares about your wedding? I feel like the only thing I cared about, or will care about too in the future one, is like getting good photos. You know, because that's what you're gonna hold on to and keep. <laughs> Families do care about the wedding. That's the crazy part, is like all the drama is caused by, I feel like, other people other than the actual couple. <laughs> I think we talked about this last time. It's just, it's just insane. Well, I hope your cousin enjoyed their wedding. And doesn't regret, regret spending all that money. <laughs> As I drop my R. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy, but I wouldn't want a big wedding. It's a personal thing, right? I want an uncle like that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I feel like that just comes with a lot of expectations. I feel like there's a, a clause attached to the end of that wedding. Like, okay, I'll pay for this, but... No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that uncle. I don't know if I ever met that uncle. I don't think I did. <laughs> Alright, what did we decide? Teal on top? Blue on bottom? Let's see. So I'm going to be adding... <laughs> she did too, so she snubbed the entire family. Oh, she's going to be on the shit list for a long time. Oh no. I'd rather have him help with the student loans. Well, especially for you, Summer. All your doctor stuff. Oh my gosh. I can imagine. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, Vex. That sucks. I'm gonna be painting over this. I have a dark blue, but I'm gonna need a lighter thing to go here. I'm trying to think what colors I have. That might determine. I most certainly do not have any relatives in that category, right? Same. <laughs> I don't really have a teal here. I do have blue. Sorry, I'm trying to strategize a little bit. What color are you? That's really green, but it's not that bad. Maybe like on top of it, it's not bad? That actually might be what I end up using on top of it. Okay, so that's not bad. What about you? See, I don't think that's gonna... It's not bad, but it's not what I want. Okay. I don't think you met that uncle. I love that uncle, but he was pretty embarrassed. Oh, how she treated the clan. That sucks. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, 
okay, we might do teal on top based on that color. Because I don't think none of these really look teal to me. Okay. Well, based on that. Alright, we need more chai tea for this. Embrace myself. No, this isn't quite the same. I mean, I guess you can't really take responsibility for all your children's actions. It's not his fault. His, his daughter is being silly. You can only do what you can do. Okay, so then you are... The main part in the middle. Man, I hope this looks just as, like, creamy and beautiful. It's... <laughs> the camera shaking <laughs> as the, the last one where I'm gonna be sad all this prep work ah, shaky camera I wouldn't say no if one of my uncles decided to cover my student debt, especially since Biden didn't deliver. Ooh, it's not fair. Maybe she was distracted by the enormity of the event. Or can't, yeah. Hmm. I remember Tricky was telling me yesterday that one of the... Ooh, we just had like a, a bank thing happen. I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> He's like, ready for another recession? I'm like, I thought we were already in one. <laughs> what? Like, but wait, there's more. Constantly. It was never, never ending. I'm like, well, I hope you don't lose your job because then we'd be in trouble. It's like, no, I think I'm safe. I think it. That was possible, Zara, but no, it's just part of that upper crust Dallas. Ugh. Ugh. I have to ask Pork where that is. He's originally from the Dallas area. Maybe he knows. As much as like politicians are not great, like in general, and no one likes a politician usually, I kind of feel bad for them. Like. They get into their office like, okay, I made things to promises to get here, let's do this thing, and then like world come crashing down and they're like, Oh yeah, you can't do any of that by the way, and you just have to kinda of do what we tell you. Like, oh <laughs> I don't know. Crust was never my favorite part of the pie. All her wedding party friends were rude and snobby and entitled. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure Karma will get her back eventually. Shaky cam. <laughs> My family agreed on that, which is they did. You know, it's bad. <laughs> I know what you mean, Max. That's funny.
can't wait to see it once I start applying water. I feel like it's so much buildup. Sorry, camera. So much buildup. Did, did I show you? Did you see my, my Squishmallow trick you got me? I'm really excited about it. He's so cute. He's so cute. He gets really washed out by the light though. If I get him too close. <laughs> Squishmallow from the rodeo. Tricky won me. Is adorable, right? So adorable. I'm going to this fancy wedding that I'm seeing for us as staff, eager to see how it is. <laughs> well, I hope it goes well. I don't understand the weddings where people like don't feed the staff. You know what I mean? Like your photographer and stuff. Like, they're there all day too with you. Like, what the heck? Okay. Base level blue. Time for the teal. No, I don't even know what's gonna happen. Let's see, did I go all the way around last time? I think I did. Oh man. There goes nothing. I'm so nervous. Worst comes to worst, we start over. <laughs> and we try a different color. I think they're gonna blend okay. Oh wow. Did you guys hear that? It's like a jet that just flew overhead. Miss the beginning of the stream, what's happening today? We're doing a, just a blue version of the... Oh, whatever that plane is, it is really low. A blue version of the honeycomb. Ooh. No, no and, just different colors of the honeycomb. That's the plan. But if I mess it up, I'm gonna have to start over. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping these colors all all go very well. I just liked the honeycomb so much. I decided I wanna wanted to have different colors of honeycomb. Sorry, that is so creepy. Can't see it though. being too careful with this part because it's all just gonna like gonna squish you know squish like it does oh I think we caught up on our episodes of The Last of Us and The Mandalorian The last episode of The Last of Us just gave me the heebie-jeebies. I was like, oof. Almost the entire time.
I'm so impatient. Get to the end of this so I can water. Ainsley and Summer voted for the next one to be, like, pink and purple. Amanda episode was incredible, right? Spoilers, if anyone hasn't seen it, the part, I totally called it. He walks into the water and just goes, Doop! I was like, I knew it. I, however, did not call how deep it was. <laughs> and I liked when they're going back up. <laughs> and, like, eye opens and she's like, oh my god. <laughs> that part was great. Like, this is why I don't like water. That right there? No, no. No, no, thank you. I will, I will pass. <laughs> it was a good one, though. Just remember your jetpack when wearing armor and water, and you'll be fine. Apparently. Agree. <laughs> yeah, that part where he just goes, Soop. Look, I called it. He's wearing heavy armor. What did he think was going to happen? <laughs> but yeah, I did not think it was going to be that deep. <laughs> it was very deep. Alright, so all you up here. Ooh. one more reason why water is absolutely terrifying. Watching the Avatar way of water, half the time I was like, mm, 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 I don't like that. No, I don't like that. <laughs> well, hello, Deep. How's it going? You, you're here just in time to, 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 for the drawing to turn from an ugly duckling to hopefully something awesome. <laughs> the magic of water on... Watercolor pencils. Hopefully it will be as stunning as I think it will be. Yeah. Move you down, maybe. There we go. Gotta make room for it. Okay, guys. So nervous. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh my god. How is your Tuesday? Are you having another work from home day? Will it have sparkle? I didn't do sparkles in the other one, so I think I'm gonna pass on the sparkles. The mythosaur was so cool. Drickstorm and I agree. I theorize it's the same mythosaur Bo Katan mentions from the plaque, the one the men wore. The great tamed. Oh, yeah, that's a good theory. That is a very good theory. That was definitely a very cool moment, too. <laughs> no sparkles, no. Oh, hi, hello. If that's how I say your name. Alright, here it goes. So the last one, it kind of ended up very, like, swirly. So we'll see if we could do the same kind of, like, swirly thing going on here. They're, they're just, they're so weird, and I never know. I'm like, do I have too much water? Do I not have enough water? Yeah. There we go. Everything has sparkles. <laughs> Sparkle makes everything better and glitter. I usually put sparkles on things. Hence the the watercolor sparkle tray I have. But the the other one just didn't need it. It was just very delicate, and I liked it. Really? <laughs> Guys, no sparkles this time. <gasps> I'm sorry. But I am liking this color. Look how look how much that changes. It's just crazy. Like, watercolor pencils are just magic. Like, I, I never know exactly what they're going to do. <laughs> they have a mind of their own. <sighs> and it does turn into some cool stuff. Okay, 
Okay, so what I did last time was I outlined them in another color afterwards, which I think I'm going to do again on this one. And then I added another color. Okay, so we'll do the green in the middle to go with the teal, I think. And then I need a blue for the outside. That is very pretty, right? Like, it's just crazy how that turns into that. <laughs> like magic. <laughs> Just, just magic. Somehow it just works. I don't. Should we do the middle? Should we start in the middle this time? Maybe I didn't put down enough color. I thought I was over coloring it, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I just didn't over color it. Yeah, I could have probably put more color down. Live and learn. I guess with the watercolor pencils, you can't overcolor. Good to know. I'll have to do a little more work probably with the paint afterwards because there's not quite as much already on here. Yeah, the middle's a little white. Oh, the ketchup. Pretty amazing transition. Putting Prismas to shame with the vibrancy, right? At least according to the camera. No, it looks pretty close. It really does. You get attacked, throw sparkles in their eyes. <laughs> Can't pay for the food. Throw sparkles in the eyes. Trying is as good as you wanted. Throw sparkles in his eyes, right? I'm not disagreeing with you. I have put sparkles on many a painting. And it just gives it some something fun. But I'm I'm trying to be better about not putting sparkles on absolutely everything and not outli outlining everything in Delphin. <laughs> Since I've, I've done a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, I just did not put enough. Oh, that makes me sad. It's not as as beautifully vibrant as it could be. I will try and make it a little better. Still pretty awesome though. <laughs> Buy my new book of how to sparkle eyes. <laughs> Glitter bombs. Never leave home with, with without one apparently. <laughs> exactly. It's like, I feel like those are more vibrant. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too hard on them. Hindsight, 2020, always. Keep going. The pencils layer like Prisma. Once it's dry, could you hit it again? Um, it has to be really, really dry. Like, not just dry to the touch, but like the paper has to be dry because of the pressure you put on it. It's it's weird because it's a pencil, you know. Um, but what I've been doing is doing this, and then I've been going over it with just regular watercolor to like add more to the spots that. I think you need more. I did try to do a little more pencil in one area on the flowers I did last, last, when was it Sunday? Um, and that worked okay. But I'm not sure how it would do on this, but I think I have the colors I want just in normal paint. So I'm using this as like a base layer and then going back over it with um, just normal watercolor. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Just because I don't want to have to wait for the paper to be like completely dry because that might take, I don't know, like an hour. <laughs> I mean, maybe less if I put it outside. But 
and I'm not exactly sure like what the water would do to the stuff under it, you know? Okay, so it's 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 I'm not exactly 100% comfortable with them yet. I'm not sure of all the stuff that it does, but it, it so far it's making a cool like um, base layer for some stuff, you know. But you don't have like super control over it. At least I don't. It seems like because you can put it somewhere, but then you have to add water to it and move it around for it to kind of like show up, you know. So it's very, I don't know. I, I don't have it all sorted yet, but it's still been really fun to play with. So I keep doing it. <laughs> but I'm learning. I'm learning. I think I put more on the yellow, though. I think that's so far the big problem. Redeemed hydrate that Xeno. I do like the little, like, circular whirls it keeps. <laughs> I think they're cute. The other, the other one had that too, but it was very subtle. Because the colors are a lot um, closer together. In hue, you know? It just really turns into something fun, though. I'm definitely looking forward to adding paint on top, too. Let's see what it turns into. If you get a chance to try it out, I would I would suggest it to anyone who's curious. Let's see what you can make with it. Right now they're my favorite thing to play with, I think. Such an interesting mix. Hi, Ma. What you doing, Bubbies? I'm a good girl. We have a kitty visitor. <laughs> Off screen, unfortunately. I think one of the hardest things is trying to name pieces. I'm real bad at it. I feel like I should be coming up with something clever. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm seeing some potential to like make something look more dimensional or reflective. Start with pencil, focus on focus the pencil on the darkest area, hit it with water, the regular pigment, polish it off. At least that's how it works in my head. But I think oil acrylic, so I mean that's kind of what I'm using it for is like the base and then to build on top of it. You just have to make sure your watercolor like is a little more pig pigmented than just water, because if it's just water, it'll just start activating the stuff underneath it, you know? But it's been fun. But I should have done a practice one, and that would have probably fixed the issue I'm having. I just, I got so excited. I just wanted to start. <laughs> and I'm purposely trying to make like the swirls kind of in the center because I like the way it looks. Call this one like mermaid honey or something. <laughs> Ocean honey. There needs to be a live rewind button because whatever response, I just missed all of it. Oh no, am I just being too quiet? I know I talk quietly. Or is the music too loud? Oh, ads. Yeah, sorry. So. Um, what did I say? I've been using it for, yeah, base layer stuff and then just adding color on top of it. So you just gotta be careful that your watercolor is not too wet that you're adding on top of it, or it'll just reactivate the, um, the stuff underneath it, you know? You have to make sure it's, like, pigmented enough to, like, try and sit a little on top of it. use um, gouache with watercolor a lot is what I've seen. I think if they want something really pigmented to sit on top. I haven't tried that yet. One thing at a time. Gouache is like a step between watercolor and acrylic. Acrylic? Man, my R's today are just failing me left and right. There's the first part, the little base. Let's fix you real quick here, come here. So there's kind of where it starts next to this one. It's much easier to see the dimension in this blue one. Maybe because the green and the blue are far enough like apart.
Excuse me. Okay. So. Let's see here. First, some tea. And then, let's see about doing, like... What do I have here? Um, Alright, pencils, I'm gonna move you over. It's not really pencil time anymore. Hey, Luna. Hey, what's up, Abyss? What you need? What you need? Uh, let's see. So what do I have in here? What? Do you need to come up and say hi? You're not really a lot, kitty. No, I don't need to come up, Mom. Alright. Gonna drive me crazy. I swear there's a cat hair in my heart shirt. So I have this in here already. I don't think this is the right. Mm, it's just so. I don't know. I think I liked this one. Oh no, that was. This is the cobalt. I don't think that'll really show up on there. Looks too close to the color, I think. Let's see, and then let's put some water in this guy. Oh, I think about my options here. What color are you? Let me see this one. What you got here? I mean, this one might work. Let me see. I wonder if that would work. What about purple? I don't want to add another... Like, especially if I'm going to do a purple. I don't, I don't want to add another, like, separate color. I think this might work, what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think if we're gonna do like a pink purple one, I want this one to stay the tealish and the blue. Yeah, I think I'll definitely add. Alright. Yeah, okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I got it. I got it. put it in here so I have better control. Okay, let me get this out of here. I don't think I need the gray right now. Feed that Zeno. Okay, well, let's get you in here. That'll do. We'll start with that. A little damp, but I think we'll be okay. Yes, Luna. Hmm. 
All right, we'll see how that dries. I think that's good, though. I think that'll have the effect that the other one did. A little thicker. I think the brush I'm using is bigger. Would be my guess. Maybe I should change that. Too small. Darn. Okay. No. Nope. Just have to be careful, I suppose. thing about having the camera so low in the art now is that I can't really stick my face in it. <laughs> so that did solve that problem. I really like the swirls. Oh, thanks. I'm a little worried that it's like too thin in places, if that makes sense. I might do a, some more of that cobalt blue and like a wash over it. But I'm not sure what that would do to the swirls and I like them. And I'm liking this outline. I'm not sure, I'll have to, I'll have to think about it. colors working out though. It's not standing out like too crazy when it dries, but it's leaving the, the edge there, which is nice. Which is what I did on the other one. You can see the... Wait, you can kind of see the edge.
Etching works. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's gonna be careful not to stick my hand in the wet spots. That's not really gonna help anybody. <laughs> back to cause more havoc. Silly kitty. It's like always mother. I always want to cause more havoc. For some reason, painting, especially like on Twitch, always makes me want to play video games after. But when I get off, I, you know, I walk the dog, I lurk on my people, I do laundry, you know, <laughs> like I do a bunch of other stuff instead. I was like, man, I really want to play a video game or watch a movie, and then I end up never doing it. I'm like, oh, but I have this to do, or I need to run this errand, and. Stupid adulting just gets in the way. Gotcha. I never have enough time, right? Never enough time to do everything you want to do. I've contemplated maybe playing some games on stream, just like some of the indie Steam games that I have, but I don't have two monitors, so I guess I just play it in like a small window mode. I should try and sneak some gaming and relax, have a little fun. I mean, like, this is fun, but. I'm not sure if I could game on stream with the setup I have. I don't even have like a full keyboard, it doesn't have like the number pad next to it. So I don't know. I thought it might be fun to play something on stream like Dream Daddy or something. Because I own it and it's really fun. <laughs> or Gris, I really like Gris. But it's just an art stream. I don't want it to turn into like gaming stream, you know? I don't know. Because I feel like people get different things out of art streams versus gaming streams. Yes, Luna, are you back? You just keep coming in here and looking at me. What's up? I'm getting kitty. Kitty's looking at me. I like this as an art stream, right? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I definitely would never, like, stop doing this part. It would be, like, a separate, like, maybe once a week thing. But, I don't know, we'll see. I just feel like there's so many gaming streams out there, you know? What's up? What you need? What you need, kitty? Did you want to say hi to the people? 
Brrf. Yeah, okay, come here. Come on. Oh, come here. Come here. You know, you don't usually. You look like you want to, though. Maybe I'll just catch you. Come here. Oh. You're my big girl. Hello. Yes. What did you want? <laughs> I knew that. What? What you need? Just keep coming over to me and going brrr. What's up? Do the claw out of me. What are you doing? You just need some love? You just need love? I know you're all caught up in my hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's everywhere. I'm sorry. Oh, you're purring. What's going on? She likes my glasses. My old kitty. I think she's nine or ten now. Are you nine or ten now? Yeah. Different mindset for games, right? That's fair. Nothing wrong with multi-themed streams. I think I'd agree. Probably make a separate channel for non-art. Oh, a separate channel. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my kitty knows all my glasses. Thank you. You're so cute, Mama. You don't be Twitch famous, see? Twitch famous. Sorry, she doesn't often want love, so... Figured I'd love on her when she's in the mood. What is that? <laughs> and she's so hard to see. <laughs> the curse of black cats, right? Can't see them. I can't see you. You're just hidden. You're hidden. Hidden in plain sight. I just had to pick up my kitty for kisses, right? What are you doing? Hey. Are you just feeling a little needy? It's okay, sometimes we all just feel a little needy. You, no, not on the art though. If you're gonna leave, go the other way. Yeah, don't, don't. No, not on the art. Go the other way. The other way. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's Luna. <laughs> She's not really a lap cat, so I was surprised she stayed so long. <laughs> Where was I? kitty break. Trick Tom has a big black cat named Han. Oh, and his brother Luke. Han will be doing something cute and she'll try and show me. It's just a big black blob. Yeah. Luna has a, a black chair she likes to sit on. So yeah, you just, you can't ever see her. And then like we have a, um, a black, I guess, kind of like TV stand. It's a bookshelf that holds all the like DVDs we have and games and such. But the TV is like floating above. And she goes and sits in there. And between the TV and the bookshelf, you just cannot see her. But oh, hey, Myers. How's it going? Okay, so I like the outline. I'm pleased with that color. It's not too crazy different, but it matches. I did kind of want to see... Can. It's like this compared to the color pencil part. It's just so different, you know. Like the magical transformation is just amazing. I wanted to see though. I think I have unrealistic expectations of this, but. tempted to do like a layer of blue just over the whole thing. <laughs> like just like kind of a wash before I go over with the Alright. Actually Han is usually a big back blob 
he has a habit of speed bumping in the middle of the hallway at night and gets very offended when you step on him. <laughs> like, Han, you're 16 plus pounds of void. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know in the night I'd like shuffle my feet because, yeah, our cats are, are very much like, I, well, I'm sitting here, so you need to go around me. It's a, it's a very cat thing. I, I agree. Like, cat, what are you, what are you doing? Did it work? Did I make it worse? I mean, it brought it out a bit. What do we think, guys? Should I do it on the rest of them? I mean, I feel like I got it now, right? How's your day going, Myers? Any crazy Tuesday shenanigans? Myers, are you an artist too? Bex, Hannah's very dramatic. He's like the cataclysm of melodramatic, melodramatic beach bum. <laughs> That's funny. Cats, man. Just gonna cat. I think I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna try and be brave. I'm just, I'm so, so nervous. I'm gonna ruin the rest of it. No, no, not gonna ruin it. We're not gonna ruin it. We're just. We're just adding pigment. We're just adding pigment. We think it really is bringing it out a bit. I'm afraid I'm going to lose the edge, but I think it's okay. When it's dry, I'm going to go back in with the teal, I think. I like the greater intensity, right? I think it's it's doing something. And when it dries, I don't think the um, swirl will be lost, especially since I'm going to do a, a, like a green teal layer on the, the swirly bits. We're all right. <laughs> How much of this I have left? And is it gonna work? I think it will. But we'll see. Okay, okay, okay. I should have done this before I did the outline though. For sure. Oops. Hindsight. 2020. Gracious. So nerve wracking. My painting prof is always about the what ifs. Each step of painting is a what if. The more the what if, the more visual interest. <laughs> the what if. The what ifs don't always work together, of course, but be brave in your exploration. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm often not brave in my exploration. However, I'm trying to be better about it. Thanks for letting me know when the ads are playing. I don't have that screen up, so I don't always know. Metaphor's ad. Hey, at least it's not like perfect. You always got those TurboTax ads. Poor guy.
like not that much color, but it really does make a difference. That's crazy. Afa, one of the Twitch artists I watch, um, is always doing washes over stuff, and I'm like, you're so brave. I'm trying, trying to be brave like Afa. You're back. Okay, good. I'm gonna say I'm trying. I'm trying to be brave, like you said. It really is making a difference, though. And I'll add back the teal. Don't worry. We haven't lost it. Cause that was the fun part. It was like the teal part. That's what made it mermaid esque. You can't lose the teal part, right? Oh no, I got a hair in it. Ah, oh, rip. It's always so hard to get those hairs out without ruining everything. No, you're so bad. But get out. Get out, get out, please. It's not just one hair, it's like a clump. Oh, did I get it? Oh my god, I got it. Thank god. Quick, quick, save it. <laughs> I got the hair. It's a miracle. At least you're not just getting um, TurboTax ads. Perfect got nothing but TurboTax ads constantly. It's going slowly but surely. a couple more steps too. It's not quite done yet. <laughs> I think I prefer double tax to meta ads. <laughs> the grass is always greener on the other side, right? to this part being done. Now, I do have to make sure it's dry before I start the next part, so I might take a quick little break. I'll let it dry for a second. We'll use the restroom. I was on a phone call. No, I'm not an artist, but my wife is. I don't remember if I asked you what medium your wife did. Was it oil paints? Uh -huh. Did we talk about this before? I have like the worst memory. There we go. Uh, that's better color. Yeah, oil and watercolor. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I thought I remembered something. Awesome. Okay, that's better color to compete with the yellow, because the yellow is very bright. Alright, I'm gonna let this dry, because I need it I need it to dry for a minute. This paper's getting a little more wet than the last one did. And then I'll go on the next layer, but I'm gonna take a bathroom break. A stretch break. Let me go kiss this cat that's sitting on my bed. 
<laughs> so I will be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Ooh. I'm kicking my desk. I might put my hair up, actually. Let's do that, Shelly. No one's redeemed hair change for me today. <laughs> I'll have to just do it myself, I guess. saying I need a haircut, but I keep refusing to go do it. <laughs> do you guys have a favorite way to wear your hair? I always like to have my hair up. I always get fast by by certain family members. You look like a boy with your hair up. You need to have bangs or something. <laughs> but I like having it up. It's just out of the way. It's not so nice on your face. I'm a fan. <laughs> okay. Back to it. Let's see if it's Oh yeah, I think that's okay. It's a little damp, like damp, like if you really get into it, but the surface is dry, so I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Kissed a couple cats. I used the bathroom. Life is good. Life is good. I wear mine down mostly or ponytail. ponytail. I, have to, I don't usually do ponytails so much anymore. They weren't fans of my long hair either. Can't win. Looks cute to me. Thanks. Do you use clips in your hair, Vex? Because you have really long hair still, right? 
Because if you don't, I recommend a claw clip. They're back now, so you can find them everywhere. And it is very nice. Just... It just gets it right out of your face. And it is very nice. And it doesn't hurt my head, like some buns they pull weird, you know? I can't I can't do just normal ponytails anymore. I think this might be the blue we use for the outline in between, because it's almost black. I can do like a low ponytail. Like I could never do the high ponytails. My hair's too slippy, it just slides down. Too slippy. Can't do it. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little interesting. So on this one. I can't even really see where I put that extra yellow. It's just so subtle. This is much less subtle. <laughs> That's right. This is the color. Obviously not that bright. But over it, it looks great. So no, I don't really do anything with it anymore. Just let it loose right now. I'm working on my Gandalf. I'm gonna catch up to Turkey in the beard department. There you go. I'm gonna just start like braiding them together. Get the long beard, the long hair, and just do like two like pigtail braids of beard and hair, just all together. I might end up using this paper as like a palette. <laughs> there it goes nothing. This is what I did on the other one. Kind of just went around the edge. No. Get out of here, ruler. And added the t other color. Alright, let's see what it dries like. I can't imagine my dad's reaction if I did. You mean he wouldn't be a fan? You were braided Gandalf look? For some reason, you can't really see it on the stream. But I can see it really good in person. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna try and see what it looks like. I mean, I want it to be a little subtle. I don't see I'm messing with it. I shouldn't be messing with it. Leave it alone. The 70s was some fun hair. I mean, it's kind of coming back, right? Like, those big goofy layers are back. I've seen on Twitter, or not Twitter, um, Instagram. People with their big, long, floofy layers. That's a very 70s thing, if I remember correctly. I like it. I'm gonna continue. I think I just stuck my arm in it. <laughs> I sure did. Oh, no. 
why it's not really working on the camera. Maybe once it's like real dry. Good gods, no. I'm expecting an earful about the beard when I make you finally go whisk me to the west side. I'm insisting on the moment the moment I'm out of place to shave. <laughs> All the tea. Hey Zal, how's it going? I lurked on a couple of your streams the other day. Seems like you're having a good old time. How's your day going? <laughs> Let me drink all my tea all at once. <laughs> I'm talking about long hair and beards currently. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Tastes pretty good. We're doing a, another like honeycomb that we decided to do like a colored kind of honeycomb and it's been it's been fun it's been an interesting experiment it though in person it looks so good I don't know how to how to like so you guys I gotta like be lurking got some stuff to do at home well thanks for lurking I hope you have a good Tuesday You saw the teal? Oh, the, yeah, it's like hard to... It's there, I promise, you know? <laughs> I mean, I want it to be a tad subtle. But I still want you to see it, you know? to keep it subtle I say and then I dump a bunch of color on the last one it was just it was misbehaving <laughs> might go back and redo that one but I'll do this first kind of layer first and see see who needs touch-ups what I mean about how the like colored pencil watercolor pencil makes a good like first layer but you gotta go back and like do stuff to it at least that's how I feel I haven't gotten to the point where I can just only do the watercolor pencil it just doesn't seem like it ooh, that's a lot doesn't like it does enough to me too much water. I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry before I go 
go messing with it more. Your precision is amazing. I try, man. I try. Although I am trying to be a little better about dealing with maybe some of the things that don't end up exactly where I want them. <laughs> how you gotta be in life sometimes, right? Sometimes your plans don't always go as you'd hoped they would. Life has a funny way of changing your course for you. Sometimes. Definitely never thought I'd have, thought I'd end up in Texas. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> One of these days, you gotta do some foot painting or something, something a little organic chaos in your life. Hey, I'm using watercolor pencils. Doesn't that count? I feel like that is organic chaos. <laughs> That's more chaos than I've you usually introduce into my paintings. <laughs> Bex is unimpressed. More chaos. Disturbed by your lack of chaos. your lack of chaos disturbing. I know, right? You would. You would. to wait but I didn't want to wait I changed my mind no waiting doing it now introduce more chaos into my art. I would feel like I'd get too stressed about it. This is supposed to be not stressful. <laughs> oh. I still think I like the yellow one better. I'm gonna say, if I'm gonna have a favorite. It's just so much like smoother. It just it worked real well. I think it's the, that base layer was just, mwah, you know. I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying this one, but I do you think that yellow one is just? It does something to my insides. I like. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> It's weird because I don't usually like yellow. It's not my not my fave color.
Ooh, I had another idea. Maybe I'll go back with the blue. Just take your toes and paint. You last about 30 seconds and have to wash it off. Scrub till it was gone. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't like things in my toes to start with. <laughs> and then it would be very messy. I would just be concerned about how I was going to clean all this up. <laughs> Can you imagine tracking all that paint everywhere? Oh my gosh. No, thank you. And knowing my like, I'd have like a cat go running through it too. <laughs> For extra chaos. Chasing the cat around the house. No, catch it! The mess is the point. No, no, no. I can't do mess for the point of mess. No, no. Can't do it. Ah. Well, we need people like you in the world. And people like me in the world, right? Together. It's a good, it's a good thing. Maybe some people with some chaos and some people with some organization. You could balance the universe out. Okay. God, it, it just, the colors look a little off on the. I wish she flippy flappies. <laughs> it, like, in the camera, the color is not what I see. I really do like it. I kind of want to go and add blue, like, on the other side. Am I making it too complicated? I don't know. It might be. Just like a little bit. It's pretty blue. Yeah, I'll start at the bottom. moment decision. Here's your chaos. <laughs> Impulse controls overrated. <laughs> I think the closest I got to, I don't know if you call it chaos, but is my, the oatmeal and medallion stuff, because it was kind of just like free form. It wasn't like an exact plan, you know? Just here's a shape, fill it in with things, and it was very nice. But I think that's as close as I, I got to anything resembling chaos. Especially since for me, I wasn't measuring like all the lines to make sure they were perfect. So that was like a big thing for me to get over. <laughs> but I did go remake them on the computer and make them absolutely symmetrical. That made me feel better. <laughs> stick to one side at a time so I don't stick my hand in it trying to get to the others. You know what I mean? Definitely done a lot like of different things in this one compared to the last one. It is its own creature. For sure.
At least I got an ad for season two of Shadow and Bone. This time it was cool. <laughs> I was telling people I wish I could like pick the ads because it would just be like a bunch of movie trailers and stuff. <laughs> you know? That'd be at least fun to watch. They don't let you pick. You get what you get. I don't know how they decide. I'm sure there's some kind of weird algorithm or something. Decides what you get to have. I feel like you've gotten a lot of ads. Have I been on that long? Time is flying by. Yeah, two and a half hours. I think three is like a good. I try and get to three if I can, if I can. But sometimes the art is only going to go so far. All right. This is definitely so much different <laughs> than the last one. So here is the original, right? And then here's this one. It's crazy. Yeah, I definitely I like the subtlety in this one better. I do think it was that base layer of the pencils really did it. I mean, this is really fun, though. I am excited to do more of it. Let's see what other colors I can do. So we're going to do a pink and purple. I think I'm going to do an like, olive greeny kind of one to satisfy my my love, of, love and need of strange greens. Oh, hiccups. What do I have hiccups for? <laughs> no. That's not good. I don't have cute hiccups. We can't be hiccuping. I'm digging the blue, at least on camera. More bold and easier to see the subtleties. Yeah, that's why I like this one though. Like in person, like I can, your eye can really pick them out. Like it's, I, I love like really subtle details that you have to be really close to a thing to see. That's just, that's me though. <laughs> but this one, like, you can see it from across the room, for sure. <laughs> I love things that you, you just you have to be right there if you're gonna see it. I don't know. I don't know. I've always wanted to draw something, just like, maybe in like charcoal, like so faint with itty bitty, like, little line details that you have to be like just right there to see. Maybe that's why I've been enjoying the like smaller art pieces. <laughs> Like, if you could barely see it, it's me. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's get this outlining going. Maybe one. Maybe the one will work. I'm going to use this, like, gray-blue, I think. It just almost looks black. I mean, I don't really need it to be black. the green oh that'd be cool from across the room it's like a blank page up closer stuff right like that's how i live my life <laughs> do you notice me from across the room no like you come up and like meet me i have a personality <laughs> it's a metaphor for life there's that's as much metaphor for a piece of art you'll ever get from me <laughs> That's just not gonna show up. That's way too late. Hmm. I just end up using this like I thought originally. I think I'll do that. Some paintings like Monet's beautiful from afar. Up close, what a mess, right? Your eye is such an unusual thing, you know? 
what I can just make out of stuff. I think that's another reason, like, I, I find oil painting so, like, strange and foreign. Just because it is, I mean, that's how it is, right? You don't do all these itty bitty tiny details, right? It's all, like, almost impressionistic. Because you have to be, right? I don't know, can you make oil paintings with itty bitty little details? Maybe it's a technique thing. Someone's given the Xeno the good scritches. Right here goes nothing. The outlining phase, and then we're done, guys. And we'll have completed our our second honeycomb pattern. Are we still calling it our mermaid honeycomb? Is that still an acceptable description? Mermaid honeycomb sounds fine. <laughs> yeah, I decided to do a like a teal blue kind of one. Oh, it's been interesting. How's your day been? like everybody show up today. I guess people are in need of some some Tuesday art. That kind of a day. Ooh. Had somewhat busy morning, but Back to boring now. <laughs> Makes me think of the erased Dakunian? So Mark Rothka, I believe it was, went to see, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Dakunian one night, the top artist of the day, and asked him for a drawing that he could erase as an artistic response from the new up and comer to the current top dog, as it were. Oh, interesting. Huh. My day? Pretty good so far. It's been, it's been a good stream. Everyone's been hanging out. We got a couple subs. I'm liking... I'm liking the honeycomb. We're gonna be doing more honeycomb. I like the mermaid honeycomb. Although it makes me think of a peacock. I don't know. Well then maybe it should be peacock honeycomb. Maybe it's more peacock than mermaid. Maybe that's how it, how it turned out. What would be more mermaid, maybe? Like different, like the different shape of the colors on the inside? I mean, mermaid and peacock are kind of the same color scheme if we're going for the traditional stuff. You're not wrong. They talk about it and Dickening says, it's gotta be one I care about. So he goes and picks one and hands it to Rothko Rothko turns that pencil drawing to a blank paper, and you know it's real because the back page is another drawing. Oh my gosh, Dakuti, you're saying it right. That just so I don't I don't like the whole like now that piece of art is gone forever. That part bugs me. <laughs> that that part bothers me. I don't like art being lost. It seems like he did just for the sake of the commentary. I, I don't know how I feel about that. That makes me go, man, artists are weird. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> makes me think of Blanksky where his art explodes and disappears. Hopefully it's documented first. Just gone, just like that. 
I mean, this is kind of why I thought maybe I make it, might make a good archivist. I'm like, no, no, it can't be gone forever. We have to save it. I guess I feel like that about art and stuff, but like, it comes to getting rid of my old stuff, I'm like, yeah, throw it away. Oh my god, sorry, the blank city that went up for auction sold for like 10 million in the moment the gavel strikes the frame of picture. Comes in words to life, the drawing gets shredded right there in the auction room and falls out the bottom. <gasps> feel sorry for the guy who bought it. Poof gone. <gasps> Did he know it was gonna poof gone? Hopefully he didn't get, like, sued or something. Like, if you know it's gonna happen, like, that's one thing. Like, it's a, one of those charity things, maybe, you know? But if you don't know it's gonna happen and then it's just gone... It was amazing. I actually made it more valuable. I doubt they knew. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I want to say the look on everybody's face if they didn't know. Oh my god. No, they didn't know! <gasps> oh my god. Ooh, I feel like that artist better have some good lawyers because, ooh. The strips of paper and the frame probably double in value just because of that. Oh my gosh. How do you get into that business? That's just crazy. Oh my goodness gracious. I saw a clip of it. The reaction in the, in the room was amazing. Oh man. The audible gasp, I'm sure, that went through the crowd. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I wonder if the auctioneer knew. If he was in on it. The whole time he's thinking, man, these poor, pe poor people. They don't even know. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't use, use his real name! Oh my god, right? How did he get so famous, though? Like, if that was the first time he did that. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, he's been doing graffiti for decades now. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That's how I got his name out there. Interesting. Man, yeah, that would be shocking for sure. The name of the piece have any hint, like disappearing act or something? <laughs> Love Banksy is famous for his anonymity and street graffiti art. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm not up on my my artists and stuff. I am not in the know, for sure. I'm just over here painting honeycombs. Loving all my cats. <laughs> no one knows who Binksy is, or if they're just one person or several. Oh, cool, that could be neat. Like an artist like collective kind of thing. That would be interesting. I'm really liking this outline, guys. I know it looks probably pretty black, but it's actually like a dark grayish blue. Uh oh, my stomach's gone. Calm down, stomach. <gasps> what was that? New follower! Jean Cho... Choi Lee? You have to tell me what to call you. <laughs> Thanks for following. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Apparently it is art, modern art history day. 
<laughs> we are learning lots. <laughs> Yo, hey, Ansley. <laughs> the painting has transformed since you were here. Because the watercolor pencils are crazy. <laughs> They're magic. I love the blue. Thanks. Yeah, it's been fun. So based on what you guys told me, I need to start like burning my artwork after I make it. Is that the new thing I need to do? <laughs> no, he's got a pink boat that hangs out off the coast of Florida helping Cuban refugees and boats in need. I think it's Florida anyway. I could be misremembering his story. His artsy boat found another in distress, but was too small to help it. And hung out till a larger Coast Guard ship could arrive to help. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> don't burn it. <laughs> that's how I become a famous artist, right? Oops, this one got a little thick. It's because I was rushing. I got excited. for the outside. Fairly pleased with that. Okay. And then we'll be done. And it'll be about three hours. Look at that. Perfect timing. Then I go have lunch, take a dog for a walk. And maybe I'll do what you guys suggested. Maybe I'll play a video game. <laughs> Cheat the Xeno! Guys, I do have a request. Do you think we can get Xeno to 21 today? He's, he's almost halfway there. The best way to become a famous artist is to die. <laughs> the next best way is to do something incredibly odd in public. Give me attention. Any publicity is good publicity. Ooh, stretch for me. Ooh, I always need a stretch. My neck kills me doing this. Maybe my like my stool to desk ratio is just not the not the best, probably. <laughs> I probably need to be a little lower in my seat, I would imagine. I want to get an actual chair, but I'm thinking maybe now that like one of those like height adjustable chairs that you get like you use like when you're in art school might actually be a good idea. Those are cushioned. I don't know how to feed the Xeno. So you gather when you're watching Twitch um, channel points. So at the bottom under the messenger, there'll be angel wings. So my Twitch channel points are called angel wings. So if you click on that, there's several things that you can do in there. You can make me do certain things. You can make me stretch, drink some tea, um, ask me a um, this or that question, have me change my hairstyle. And then you can also interact with the Xeno in the corner. You can feed him or treat him. So if you can find the little angel wings, I don't know if you're on mobile or on your computer, then you can see the, all the options. And those are things that I'm allowed to customize. So if you guys ever have suggestions or have one you don't like, you can always let me know. And you gain channel points just by watching the stream. It's like just a, like a little incentive to have the, you know, the chat interact with you a little bit. Some people have them, ones that do sound alerts, I have my sound alerts in a, an extension below the stream, and they cost you bits. <laughs> Not a lot, though, in comparison to some. But I didn't want anything that's too jump scary, just because I don't want to be painting and then going, ah, you know, I'd be so afraid I'd mess something up. But a lot of people have the jump scare ones that game, especially like if you're doing horror games or something, because it's funny, you know? <laughs> I 
Have you found any other... I have jump scare. Right? <laughs> Bork too. Tricky loves jump scaring Bork. <laughs> but yeah, just like, it didn't feel right with the art. Like, I really didn't want to, like, spend three hours on something and then just completely ruin it. And some of those are jump scary enough when I'm not expecting it, so... Just, I just did not... I didn't want it. didn't want to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, sound alerts on games is funny, but not an art stream. Yeah, exactly. That's why the ones I have are just, like... Or chill, like little commentary kind of things. And less like, let's see how far we can make Angel jump. <laughs> jump scare art! Oh my gosh, can you imagine? That would have to be like a separate stream. Like that would be a, a, the special one. I would go and like change all the sound alerts to scary things and then like be like, it had to be, oh gosh. So anyone who's been to art school, I know Vex. You remember those ones they make you do where you have the pencil and you have to draw something without lifting the pencil up, you know? So it would be like one of those exercises. That would be so genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You see, I remember those. I still have one that I did of a flower, actually, really like. But yeah, that would be a great thing, actually. That's funny. It would definitely have to be like a, a birthday stream or a, a subathon or something because you'd have to have people in there to make it interesting, you know? Remember that? Take a line for a walk, right? That would be, that would be really funny. I don't think I could do it with paint because you gotta like load the paintbrush, but I could do it with pencil. That would work. I should write it down. What do we call that? What did Vex? Do you remember what they called that technique? There's a name for it. I, I don't remember what it was. And I've forgotten a lot of my art terms over the years. I don't remember. Was that just continuous line drawing, or was there an actual like? Is there an actual name for it? Somebody Google for me. <laughs> Name for continuous line drawings. Contour drawing. Yes, contour drawing. Contour drawing. That's what it was. Oh, I spelled that wrong. That would be a fun one. But yeah, it definitely would have to like. Like chat's pretty active today, so I think that would like be a good. But some days chat's pretty quiet, and that that wouldn't work out well for that. That would be fun, though. It would be fun. What would I draw, though? Because you have to look at something. Maybe I could, like, print a picture of a flower and just have it in front of me. That would be fun. And then afterwards, like, paint it or something. <laughs> that would be really fun. You guys have such great ideas. <laughs> A volcano? <laughs> That's not gonna turn out looking like a volcano, though. <laughs> Are you guys liking the outline? What do you think? I think it's just adding a little bit of, like, crispness to it. A jump scare work with a volcano. Only if it was at the top, though. <laughs> like a side volcano. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, good. So the art building here is donut-shaped David Bowie's Labyrinth. What? That's cool. I really like the outline. Good. I, like, I really have found that I like outlining things. I don't know if that's... I, feel, I almost feel like it's cheating, but I really like the way it looks. I'm just, I want to outline everything. 
even if it's not in sparkly gel pen. I should probably invest in some like ink pens, like fountain ink pens, like a nice one, because that would work well for outlining. And they're waterproof, you know. The center of the donut is the... You're addicted to outlining. I am perfect. I'm addicted to it. I really like it. The center of the donut is the main gallery with amazing acoustics. The choir comes to practice from time to time. Oh, that's so cool. So you get to be like drawing or painting and the choir is outside. Yeah, Vex is in Eastern Washington at the school. That's really cool. Let's talk about ambiance. <laughs> Perfect, do you not like my outlining? Do I outline too much? It's a style. I'm, I'm just going to say it's my style, right? <laughs> Perfect, because it's going to leave me because of my outlines. But like, nope, I'm over you and your outlines. Get out of here. <laughs> Meant to know to visit sometimes. So cool, right? <laughs> Literally in the other side of the country from you. <laughs> if you're going on a Washington trip, I also suggest the University of Washington. It's very beautiful. <laughs> Especially the cherry trees in the spring. That's the school I went to. <laughs> but it sounds like Vex's art building is much cooler. Although I did like the basement of the art building at UW. <laughs> but I love me a good basement, so maybe I'm a little biased. <laughs> I always wanted a house with a basement. Can't have them here because of flooding. But like one of those basements you can hang out in, you know? Turned out pretty cool. Thanks, Bummer. It's getting there. We're almost done with the outline. So there was a show in the gallery, and part of it was this huge blank... Oh, I could... What's that? Peel? Anyone could... A oh, page? Anyone could draw on? It was very cool. One day the choir is down there rocking out, so I went down and used the big blank panel. Oh, panel. And drew music as they sang. That sounds very you. That's very you. I bet you it turned out real cool, though. I remember doing that in art classes. They're like, here, draw to music. I'm like, what do you want me to draw? I don't like this. <laughs> this is too freeform for me. <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense? <laughs> you want me to just, like, squiggle around? No, I don't, I don't do this. Get out of here. <laughs> but yes, I would imagine... That's definitely like a your your style kind of thing. I bet it turned out so good. <laughs> their voices, their voices and sound guided my hand. Apparently, half the choir ended up watching me. I mean, conducted by me <laughs> instead of their instructor. It's so much fun us being conducted by them. That does sound like real fun. That's very interactive. Oh, here, guys, while I'm putting this up, I'm gonna put a poll up. Oh my gosh, my Discord is just going crazy. That's again, okay. Let's see. Minecraft craft. Okay, so I'm gonna put up a poll, and I have two colors for next time in mind. I'll do both of them, but you guys can decide which goes first. Oh, I should change that not to 10 minutes. Oh, my God. oh, I guess it's stuck. It's going to be a 10 minute pull. All right, you guys, you let me know. 
I'm thinking pink purple is gonna win. But I know I want to do both. You guys can decide which which is first. Or if you have another color suggestion, let me know. I was thinking of doing like reds, but I'm not sure if I have enough red color. I think I think I could make it work. It'd be more orangey. So happy with these tiny watercolor pencils. I guess paintbrushes in general. Chicky did a good gift. What was that? Mocap! Hey! Look at you popping in. Kind of towards the end of stream. There is a poll at the top if you are so inclined to vote. I will be doing more of these honeycomb things. Treat and hydrate that Zeno. And I'm gonna do both colors. You guys just get to decide which is first. <laughs> Zeno getting so close to the next level. I should get in there and do it too. Did I just do this one? I don't know. I'm going to do it again. I'm forgetting where I was. Here we go. <laughs> Zeno's gorgeous. What's your next skin color? Next skin color is like a really... Oh, you figured it out, Vex. It's like a really bright green. And I think it's at 30. So I figure if we can get him at least 21 this stream. He's close. We'll make good progress. <laughs> Ta da! Yellow, I think? Oh, was it yellow? Was it not green? Was I wrong? I'll take a look. I'm curious now. Let's go take a look. We have time left on the poll. I can go look. But there you go. Outline really makes this one pop. A lot of dimensionality there, right? It really helps it. I still, I still love my original yellow for all of its subtlety, but blue's pretty fun. I'm liking this series. Yeah, I really, this is still it's so soft and beautiful. But this is fun too. I'm gonna see if I can make the next one as soft as the first one. I think the key is more of the, more of the watercolor pencils. This is fun too. I'm pleased. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. Oh, so far greens are winning. If you guys haven't voted in the poll, vote in the poll. Get it, Zeno. Where's that glass? Let me see. I want to check and see what color. Where's my... Extensions. Let's see. I thought it was green. I could be wrong though. No, it is green. Yeah, level 30 is green, level 45 is yellow. And 60 is like this red color, and 75 is blue. And then there's a Halloween and a Christmas one from 2022. Oh, that was like black and white. I wonder if they'll bring that back this year. It's pretty cool. Grow, Zeno, grow. No, she's the glass, you guys. <laughs> so close! Here, we're done with the painting part. <laughs> oh, 
Yay! Level 21! You guys did it! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Party! <laughs> Hype! <laughs> I made my pull too long. I didn't realize it wouldn't take me that long to finish. Oops. <laughs> Good job, guys. Xeno's at the next level. Maybe we can get like a level of stream, and then we'd like we'd get it there at a pretty good clip. I think. <laughs> I think that was a pretty successful stream. We made something pretty cool today. It gets so like blurred out. Yeah, it's cute. I think it's cute. Because we all know that's my favorite word. Cute. <laughs> you guys' emotes are so cute. <laughs> so next time, definitely. We win another one. And so far, Olive Green is winning. So we might be doing some greens next time. And then pink and purple will be next. I'm gonna I'm gonna call the poll guys. Cause we gotta go raid somebody. Let me let me see. Who's on? Check my thing. What do we got that's on? Oh, this person was pretty cool. Their art. Let me see. Hasn't started yet. Oh, I think I did her last time though. Let's do. Maybe Scribbles? No, hang on. I got an ad. You're welcome. I didn't realize I wasn't following you already, Amsley. I apologize. Yeah, we'll do her. Alright, we're gonna raid Electric Scribbles. There's a lot of digital art. I'm not sure what she's up to today, but I'm sure it'll be fun. So it looks like all of green ones. So let me write that down. Olive green. Alright, greens it is, guys. And then next time we'll do pinks and purples. Alright, let's get our and electric scribbles. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you so much, everyone who showed up. Thank you so much. Who we got? We had I think Yun Choi Lee for a follow. Your vote won the poll. Hooray for democracy. <laughs> Summer resubscribed for three months. Awesome. Ainsley gave me a prime sub. Guys, it was a good day. We got a, a cool honeycomb done. I'm very pleased. Thanks to everyone who showed up. Chatting. I'm excited for next time. We're gonna go we're gonna go raid. Anyway, I will see you all. What is it? Tuesday? So I will see you Thursday, 11 a.m. Central for more honeycomb fun. Should be a good time. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.